The man before you is a champion of light. He is part of a conflict between darkness and light that is both ancient and eternal. Today on review, we are looking at Alan Wake American Nightmare for Epoch Live Arcade, which you can get for 15 bucks. The story of Alan Wake American Nightmare continue on after the DLC of the original Alan Wake for the Epoch 360. They were caught with Alan being trapped into a time warp by his doppelganger, Mr. Scratch. It constantly making him play certain scenarios over and over again just to try to kill him and have a little bit of fun. And within the game itself, you will actually see videos of Mr. Scratch talking to you telling Alan how he gonna pretty much grew with his life and what he planned to do with his Alan friends and family and seeing pretty much Mr. Quack just having a good old time killing random people which kind of add a little more creepiness to it of the overall scenario of having the evil side of you constantly just messing with you but the gameplay itself it haven't really changed all that much from the original Alan Wake. As Alan you have a gun which you have multiple guns here with your flat light which you fight the Taken which is people with like shadowing figures around them which you have to take the shadow off by using using your flatlight to be able to actually hold them. You will have different types of taken, might be giant, ones that can split in half, ones that turn into clothes. It keeps the actual battle really interesting of all the game type. Any of you only fighting a handful over and over again, but the AI is fantastic across the board. They will sneak up upon you. They will do random things to keep you on your toe. And in many cases, it can actually kill you a bit. It might be jump skills, but this is actually something great about the game. With many games do not kill anymore, and Alan Wake American Nightmare do a fantastic job of keeping the creepiness on and the stress of having to fight the beings alive within you. But the gameplay of Alan Wake outside of combat is of course you are playing a random of three levels over and over again a total of three times to the final conclusion with Mr. Scratch. And in each level you will meet an NPC that pretty much all they do is they will talk to you which you have conversation with them which continue the conversation by pushing button not so much of a skill tree anymore. And the NPC doesn't really add too much to the overall plot beyond just mere distractions and not being a alone within the level, but they will pretty much send you on fact quits every time you replay the level, only this and it every time you replay the level. It might change a little bit as in like in the beginning day, someone asks you to go get like four items, the second time you come back she like gather two of the items for you. So it cut down the time and every time you go back to the level you get through the level faster and faster and faster. But you still more like doing the same thing over and over again. Might can be a little repetitive every now and again and to some people that might be a downside. For me, it was a little little bit of a drag but it didn't bring the game down too much. But outside of the messing with NPC and character level but within the level you have manuscript pages with anyone who played the original Alan Wake be very familiar with which will give you more backstory of what happened in the original Alan Wake right along with what's gonna be happening here soon within the title which adds a very creepy feeling to it and at the same time for anyone that haven't played the original Alan Wake it will fairly get you caught up the feet if you go out of your way to collect the items. So outside the main story of Alan Wake kill we also have now fight to dawn mode which is a single player horde mode which you play of course as Alan going through the stages of trying to get the high score depending on if you kill as many people in the time limit, build up your combo system by not getting hit, what weapon you use, and more points you get will unlock more level which you can play in, which will also give you goals which you can compete with your friends online for. But sadly you don't have any actual multiplayer here, this is completely single player. Which can kind of also blame down on the overall Alan Wake because the fighting might be entertaining in short bolts but actually playing it in the fight to dawn mode you can get extremely wore out because the fight takes so much out of you you can be just mentally drained afterwards. So overall Alan Wake American Nightmare is a good game for anyone who in the Alan Wake mythos, this is a mutt play for anyone else that just want to get a taste of Alan Wake. This can be a good place. You're just gonna have to put up with some repetitiveness in it. So overall, I give Alan Wake American Nightmare for the Xbox 360 a three out of five. Are you gonna tell me what this is? I don't think that'd go over too well. Why don't you let me be the judge of that? Fine. The page is a formula for rewriting reality. Either I use it to close a strange portal to a place that isn't in our world, or shadowy serial killer monster things keep pouring out of there. 
Yeah, you were right the first time. 